Hello everyone, it's Van Bart here, and welcome to another movie review. Remember back when I did a review of Gay Paris last year? Well, it just so happens that today's movie is also about French cats. But the big difference is that this one is from Disney. And being released on Christmas Eve of 1970, the film is known as... The Aristocats. The film takes place in 1910 Paris, where a wealthy woman named Madame Adèle Bonfinelli has her lawyer named Georges Holcourt write out her will stating that she will leave her fortune to her four cats, Duchess, Toulouse, Marie, and Berluse. And when the Madame's butler named Edgar hears about this, he kidnaps the cats and tosses them into the countryside in order to take the Madame's fortune. So being lost and not knowing where to go, the cats are helped by an alley cat named Thomas O'Malley, who takes them back to Paris. And along the way, they meet some other characters, while Edgar tries to hide his evidence of his kidnapping by retrieving his stuff that were left behind. Now you may be thinking, how does this film relate to Gay Paris? They came from different studios, they are a decade apart, and they don't have a similar story. Well... They have similar scenes. The way the romantic leads meet each other is pretty similar. The cat's walking on a train track and missing an oncoming train by going under a bridge is another. The climax and resolution with the villain is another one. And they both star French cats. Except the diversity in this one is very mixed and not a single character speaks French. I wonder why Hollywood doesn't have French people in their films. Oh, and one part of the film is taken from 101 Dalmatians. Well, great. Now they're stealing from their own films. I'm just saying. But surely, the animation would be decent. Uh, not quite. It is often sketchy, and I'm not very into that style. Most of it comes from the humans, and it just looks very odd. Not to mention some reused animation and character reactions and actions repeated two or three times. Now, what about the songs? They aren't the best part of any Disney film. But surprisingly, not this one. They mostly become forgettable with the lyrics, mostly pointless, and even slightly annoying. The main title song, The Aristocats, is okay, yet Maurice Chevalier, who sung the song, brings so much of a French flavor to it that it's pretty hard to make out what he's singing. Scales and Alpeggios is another okay one, but there's a slight annoyance to it that I'm not quite sure why or how it is. Yet, it is something. Thomas O'Malley Cat is quite an annoying song due to how it's being played out and even performed. And the last song, Everybody Wants to Be a Cat, is the only enjoyable and good song. Starting out smooth and building up to being more crazy and jazzy. But there's a small break in the song to present a calm and slow number by Duchess only to bring back the main song and conclude it. And this song even gets a reprise at the end with all the characters joining in. But the opening credits also feature another song, She Never Felt Alone. Well, this is a deleted song that is sung by Duchess, which is on the special edition DVD, that explains why Madame loves her cats. Though maybe it's deleted because it's already established that Madame loves her cats, yet only a spoken portion of the song is in the film. Then again, maybe having more of her and her cats would have made the film a little better if the full song was in there. And speaking of deleted, a maid named Elvira was going to be in the film as well as another deleted song. She was going to be Edgar's partner in crime, but her character was taken out for... Unknown reasons. But the actors who voiced the characters are kind of good. Phil Harris voices Thomas O'Malley. Eva Gabor voices Duchess. Sterling Holloway voices Rofert, Scatman Crawfers voices Scat Cat, Pat Buttram voices Napoleon, George Lindsay voices Lafayette, Hermione Badley voices Madame Adelaide Bavanelli, Roddy Maud Roxby voices Edgar, Nancy Culp voices Fru Fru, and Charles Lane voices George Harcourt. As a whole, this movie is okay, but mainly meh. The characters are fine, the story is okay for what it is. The animation is fine, but not very much, and the songs tend to be forgettable at times, but are mostly okay. Director Wolfgang Rutherman did make an okay attempt at bringing a story about French cats trying to get home while meeting other characters and such. 
but the pointless moments, sketchy animation, story relation to a few other films, and songs that are sometimes unneeded don't add a whole lot to the film, and in some ways would become boring. It's not one of Disney's best works, yet it's not one of their worst works. At first I thought it was a good film as a kid, but looking back at it now, it just didn't do as much. And I have no regrets about it. So today, this movie will be given a rating of 2.5 minus stars. So thank you for joining me. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook or Twitter. And tune in next Wednesday for a new video. Video based on what I've just said. So let's get to it with a list of my top 10 favorite animated films. Number 10.